Hey yo, this is Dash, and today we're gonna talk about another lessons learned. Hey yo, this is Dash. Yeah. yeah. All right, so uh, if you haven't already, I just posted or I posted a video a little while ago about me cooking on site at work. Uh, this this cookout, it went pretty much without a hitch. Now, of course, there's always something you're gonna learn, you're gonna take away from any event. And one of the things I took away from this event is I'm going to need to put a can opener in my repertoire of things that I'm, I take with me. Um, I have in the past gone on site and, and cooked on site and used the can opener. When I did that event, uh, when I cooked for like, it, it was an event I did for like 300 people. Um, that event was at a school and the school had a number 10, you know, like a big industrial sized can opener. So I was able to use a can opener there. But I have in other places and kind of relied on either bringing one myself Today, uh, I was unaware of the fact that I was gonna have to uh, warm up these beans that I ended up having to warm up on the grill. Uh, but I had to open up the can, and unfortunately, the craptastic can openers that I was given. It just didn't work. So I was able to finally like pierce the cans to the point where I could stick the can opener in and open it up and then open you. It was an ordeal, uh, to say the least. Had I had a good can opener, I probably would have had the cans open and, and everything would have been done lickety split. So, lesson learned, bring a can opener. Uh, the second thing was, I was a little ill prepared because I was uh, told pretty much, hey, uh, we have these beans that we need to warm up. Can you warm them up on the grill? And I'm like, yeah, sure, it won't be a problem. But when I was handed two number 10 cans, so two of the big, big cans, um, it kind of slowed me down. I kind of wanted to have more food prepared or more food done to, to get ahead of the rush, and uh, it bit me. Um, I was able to warm the, the beans up while the grill was kind of coming up to temperature. I put the beans on the lower grate, and then once the, the grill came up to temperature, I moved the greens up to the, to the upper grate or the, the upper level. The only problem with that is the the upper level when I put the pan up there I wasn't able I, I didn't feel comfortable closing the lid because I didn't want the beans to get a little too far forward and tip over and then that would have just been an ordeal so I kind of had to leave the grill open which meant that I wasn't getting as much convection and I wasn't getting uh, it wasn't cooking everything as fast as I would have liked it to cook so that was the main problem uh, the result of that was I got behind and you know, when there was probably 75, 80 people, maybe more, probably a little bit more, people cycled in and out now I think about it, but it was probably, it was between 75 and 100 people who were there. And I probably had enough food for half of everyone that came out like in the initial rush. And then I was cooking more and I kind of got caught up. And then as soon as I got caught up, everything that I had ready was gone and I'm sitting there twiddling my fingers trying to get the grill to to cooperate. 
because I had to heat up those beans, that took away from the heat and from the cooking time for me to go to get ahead. Uh, so I ended up, like I said, I ended up getting behind and I had a long line of folks waiting to get food. Now it wasn't too, too bad. Most folks were understanding and you know, I'm standing there and I'm talking to everyone as, as I'm cooking and they were pretty, you know, pretty understanding. So that was great. Uh, but the, the big takeaway that I want to tell you guys is try to make sure you can get ahead uh, on your food or ahead of what you're cooking because I mean I'm only one person now one of the things that I would like to do and I think this is one of the things I'm going to do is to build a bigger grill for myself to take with me on site so that I won't have these uh, you know these growing pains or this problem with running out of room for cooking so but that that pretty much is the lessons learned for today hopefully uh, this helps um, but uh, hopefully this helps and uh, I, I just see the the door on the grill opened up hopefully I don't know can you see it let me see all right that's the like the front access door I just hit a big bump and I saw it swing open Thank you very much, as always, for watching. If you have any other questions about this particular event or any of the other lessons learned, please feel free to leave it down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. If you like what you saw today, if you learned something, please leave me a thumbs up down below. Uh, and last but not least, thank you again, and I'll see you guys next time.